Hello everybody! Today, let's tap into the enchanting world of Harry Potter as we experience the iconic location, the Gloucester Cathedral. The cathedral was home to the Benedictine monks since 678 AD. Three Harry Potter films feature the cathedral as part of Hogwarts, The Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and The Half-Blood Prince. Get ready to immerse yourself in the magical world of Harry Potter, where you can walk the same hall and corridors where Harry, Ron, and Hermione once stood. Are you ready to explore this enchanting location? As you enter the cloisters, to the left is the doorway used as the entrance to the Gryffindor common room without the portrait of the fat lady. The same hallway that the new Gryffindor students walked down on their first day at Hogwarts. The next location is the door to the right of the cloister where students hurried through this doorway back to the Gryffindor common room after it was announced that there was a troll in Hogwarts. In the Chamber of Secrets, this corridor was filled with water after Moaning Martel flooded the girls' toilet, and when the writing, the Chamber of Secrets opened, enemies of the air, beware, appears in blood on the wall. In the movie Half-Blood Prince, this corridor was used during the students' first day back at school, and this is the exact wall where Harry and Ron stand. This area is the lavatorium where monks wash their hands between meals and this is the exact place where Harry hides while listening to Snape and Malfoy talking about the unbreakable vow. With a history of 1,300 years, the cathedral is one of the most significant heritage destinations in the southwest England. Visitors can enjoy many things in this magnificent place, such as the Tribune Gallery. Here, you can sit on a cathedra or the bishop's throne, or dress up a character from the cathedral. You can also create your own gargoyle or complete a jigsaw puzzle of the king. Did you know that the Great East Window installed in 1950s is the world's largest window? This magnificent landmark of European medieval stained glass measures 22 meters in height and 12 meters in width, equivalent to the size of a tennis court. Even to this day, it remains one of the most significant landmarks in the history of stained glass. Gloucester Cathedral is well known for many things, including its impressive assortment of stained glass windows. Some of these windows are as old as 14th century, while others are more recent. One of the most notable stained glass windows is located in the Thomas Chapel and was created by the artist Thomas Denny. 
which is called Rhapsody in Blue. Thanks for watching guys. Always remember that life is beautiful.